Hi everyone, I'm Elisa Lavore from New Pollution Designs, and I know you're up very close, but I am doing a Mac versus Mac video, and I wanted you to be able to see the differences. So it's the holiday season, there's a lot of events going on, and a lot of women want to try something new in their makeup look. So one of the things to try is red lips. Now if you've been watching my videos, you know I've been talking about lipstick a lot lady, lately, but I just have a crush on lipstick, so uh, it's in my heart and it's on my mind all the time. But I realized that a lot of people are interested in red lips, but maybe they're not sure uh, the difference between these two popular red lipsticks, and that's Russian Red and Ruby Woo. So I wanted to show you the difference. Now, here is Ruby Woo. It looks like this, and this is the swatch for it. That's Ruby Woo. That's Ruby Woo. And then, here's Russian Red, that's Russian Red. Can you see the difference? I even have it on my lips, Russian Red, Ruby Woo. I did not put on any lip liner or have any base because I wanted you to see what it looks like. Russian Red, Ruby Woo. That's right. What's this? Ruby Woo, let's see. Okay, yes. So, if you can tell on screen, Ruby Woo is a more truer, vibrant red, while Russian Red is a bit more bluer. Russian Red also goes on, they're both mattes, Russian Red goes on a bit easier than Ruby Woo, although Ruby Woo really does not, is not a problem for me, but if you're new to lipsticks, it might be jarring when you first put it on. Ruby Woo is very clay-like to put on. Uh, if you're just starting out, but you, and you really love it, love red lipstick, or you're asking for it for Christmas, or you want to take the dive into the MAC pool of red lipsticks, I would suggest Russian Red, just because it's easier to deal with uh, when you're putting it on. But if you're a great vintage lover and you want a really authentic look or you want a red lipstick that does not transfer, Ruby Woo. Because Ruby Woo is dry, not drying like those lipsticks that um, kind of hurt when they're dry, but it's very drying where you can put Ruby Woo on with a lip brush, rub it into your lips, a very thin layer blot to the point where you don't see any more color coming off the napkin, off a tissue, and then re-put it on again. Ruby Woo is one of those colors that will stay uh, for a very, very long time, and it will not transfer. If you put it on correctly, it will not transfer if you kiss somebody or if you drink or eat during the holiday season. But I wanted to show you the differences because they're subtle. It's more about texture when you're putting it on almost than the color itself because if I went out somebody might be able to tell that something's slightly off but it's not jarring so the two together Ruby Woo Russian Red Ruby Woo Russian Red they look let me make it even you can't really tell the difference color wise it's more about texture so I hope that was helpful as far as MAC red lipsticks go. I like them both. I wear them both. But my suggestion is if you are new to red lipsticks but you want to take the dye or you want an easy application, do Russian Red. Or if you want a little bit of a darker, a little bit of a darker look. Uh, if you want long lasting, if you want more traditional vintage uh, formulation, then go with Ruby Woo. And I know that like Gwen Stefani, she wears Ruby Woo, or uh, British singer Paloma Faith, she wears Ruby Woo. So it just kind of depends on what you're looking for, but Ruby Woo, Russian Red. Russian Red, Ruby Woo. So I hope that was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. And that's it. Take care. Hope you have a great holiday season. Bye.